Carolyn Lambley with that report there. Well, let's bring in Aziz Sayed Syrian to discuss this further. He's a scientist at the Pasteur Institute here in France with a focus on HIV remission. Um, Professor, that makes you a perfect person to speak to on this subject. There's been a huge advance in the treatment of HIV with drugs like PrEP, but why is this disease proving so difficult to prevent? Well, uh, good evening. I think that uh, um, the major issue with HIV is the first, the uh, diversity. Uh, the number of variables, the, the capacity of the uh, envelope, the surface of the, of the virus to, uh, to, to evolve and to escape uh, immune responses, and also uh, the particularity that uh, HIV is going to target immune cells, so it's going to very quickly impair the immune responses that are uh, addressed uh, against the virus. Are there other vaccine programs in, in the pipeline? Is, is there anything else, schedules, that we can look forward to? Yes. Well, uh, whereas there is no another so advanced clinical trial, there are different uh, clues and very different studies that are advancing with new um, uh, vaccine candidates. And uh, perhaps uh, the I will say to, to, to keep uh, um, uh, being optimistic is that we have learned a lot about the kind of immune responses that uh, protect some people or that at least allow some people to control the infection and to neutralize the virus. And um, what the new vaccine candidates are trying to do is not so much as to induce a very strong uh, immune response uh, against the, the virus, but to, to save the immune response that the, the, the virus or the vaccine is going to, to induce so that uh, it's a good quality and able to, to suppress infection. So uh, there are a few trials, one here in, in France trying to uh, which is targeting the cells that are uh, responsible for training uh, the immune responses, that are trying to, to get them the good activation signals. And there are other uh, trials using uh, RNA uh, vaccines, which are trying to educate the immune uh, system to produce uh, some antibodies that are uh, broadly neutralizing, so that they are very uh, potent in the neutralizing activity and also recognize a lot of uh, viral variants. I want to touch briefly on um, the treatments for, for HIV. I mentioned PrEP before. There's a couple of different forms of that, one of them being uh, an injection that you can take every three months. Can you tell me a bit more about that, please? <clears throat> so, yes, this is, the um, uh, as you mentioned, there are uh, different uh, types of PrEP. Uh, uh, basically, PrEP, uh, pre-exposure prophylaxis, is based on the antiretroviral drugs that people with HIV are taking to, uh, to, uh, to control uh, the infection. And so these drugs can be taken uh, orally uh, every day, or now there are new formulations that are long-acting molecules that uh, are maintained at uh, therapeutic levels for many months. And so uh, these drugs allow with one simple injection every two, three months to, to maintain, um, as, I, as I mentioned, uh, uh, therapeutic levels of the antiretroviral drugs, and uh, this, the presence of, the, of these drugs are going to prevent uh, that acquisition of HIV. That's only going to be a big, a big change for people who are used to taking a daily pill. Would you say HIV is still a priority for the scientific community? <clears throat> of course. Uh, there is a huge effort trying to develop new uh, prevention um, tools, also new therapeutic uh, um, uh, molecules or approaches taking into account that there are over uh, almost 40 million people living with HIV, uh, 1.5 million people uh, infecting, uh, being infected yearly. There is no cure. Currently, uh, one person uh, who acquires HIV is going to, uh, to require um, a treatment for life, and not all people are uh, getting this treatment on time. So, uh, yes, this is uh, um, a huge concern. Uh, we have also even if we have tools uh, to uh, ideally to control uh, the, the HIV AIDS pandemic, uh, the, the recent COVID crisis has shown how fragile uh, our, our system is. And there has been disruption in diagnosis, in prevention, in access to antiretrovirals. So we need to keep uh, um, learning and to keep investing and developing new approaches, both for the prevention and also for the treatment of, of people uh, already living with HIV. Professor Sayyid thank you so much for your time. Thank you for speaking to us here at France 24. Thank you.